start off with just tuning into your body. So go ahead and find a nice parallel position about hips width apart. And you're just gonna close your eyes if you want to and just kind of do a body scan from the bottom of your heels all the way through your legs into your hips and your abs. Is anything tensing up? Is anything feeling like you're doing a lot of work to hold it together? Just checking in with your body sensations as well, all the way up to your head. Okay, now remember what that feels like. We're going to start off with just some imprint and release. It's gonna look a little weird, but you're gonna have your hands on your knees and we're going to inhale here, exhale, tilt the pelvis and kind of round the low back. And then inhale as you release. And 
open up the palms and open the chest. Good, one more this way. It should feel really, really good. And you can even do this kind of while you're sitting at work all day. Let's go the other way. We're locking the fingers, tilting your body, flipping the palms and opening up the chest. Good, again, curve your protract those shoulders. Open up the chest. Nice, two more. Lock the fingers and curve away. Nice. Shoulders are opening. Whoa, my voice just cracked, sorry. <laughs> opening up through the shoulders and extending the spine. Okay, now cat to cat cow. Let's go into our standing position again. And we're just gonna round the spine all the way and then inhale as you extend the spine. Yeah, so we're tucking the tailbone first and articulating through. Start from the tailbone and extend the spine. Feeling how much mobility you have here. And then we're gonna head down onto the mat in a second. All right, now go ahead and find your neutral spine again. We're gonna go side to side, kind of like you're wagging your tail. You're gonna bring your head kind of towards your hip, side to side, yep, just like this. And switch, good, keep going. And switch, one more on each side. And last one. All right, rounding through and coming all the way back up. We're going to start on our backs now. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Okay, so go ahead and lay on your back. We're going to do some ab prep. So getting those abs nice and engaged. Let's actually widen the feet a little bit wider than we normally would. So arms are gonna reach overhead. Let's clasp our hands together like so. And we're going to nod the chin and flex forward just like we do with any other ab prep. And inhale as you release. And nod and flex. Good, inhale as you release. Let's go two more. Inhale as you release. Should maybe feel a shaking sensation at the top. But, all right, now from here, we're going to nod and flex forward. So we're kind of at this angle here with the arms in front of the chest. I'm just gonna rock from side to side. Rock from side to side. Yep, so you're gonna lift your opposite shoulder off of the floor. Keep your head nice and tilted forward to maintain the alignment of your cervical spine. Good, keep going. Nice. And you're getting some oblique motion too, as well as you're shearing out the fascia along the back. Good, okay. Now, go ahead and find center, relax for a second. From here, you're going to have your hands forward, nod the chin forward, and we're gonna do a little rocking, and then one more on each side, and then we're gonna actually swing your whole body to this side, like this, okay? So it's a weird thing. You're gonna come from center, swing to the side. Yeah, so you're laying on your side completely. There we go. And then we're gonna circle the arm around. Circle it around. Good, two more. Up and around, and up and around. Then you're gonna swing the arms back to the front, back to your ab prep position. Yes, and then we're again, we're gonna do the same thing again, same side. Rock a couple times, and over. Good, ready, and rock to the same side. And then you're gonna circle the arm around. Two, and three, and four. Bringing your arms together, back to your center. Again, keep rocking. Yep. We're going to flip over to the other side now. Ready, and flip to the other side. Oop, I'm gonna crash into my plan. Yes, here we go, and then circle the arm. Two, and three, and four bringing the arms back to center, back to that ab prep. And again, rock, and a two, and a three, and a four. And then we're gonna swing the whole body over, circling the arm around, and then a two, and a three, and a four. Good, now back to center, back to the ab prep. Okay, we're just gonna do a few more rocks before heading into our single leg stretch. If your neck is hurting, just engage the abs more and make sure the chin is still tucked. Good. Wow, I have shifted forward a little bit. Okay, go ahead and pause and lower the head. Relax for a second. 
It's a little bit different, a little bit more subtle, but go ahead and yeah. Relax for a second. We're gonna do our single leg stretch, just like we always do our classic single leg stretch. So legs are gonna start in parallel position. Reach up to the ceiling, nod the chin forward and flex it. Let's have the hands behind the head for this one, actually. We're gonna go inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Maybe you feel this a little bit more in your abs than you normally do after doing the ab preps with the fascia. Because sensory, or your, your fascia also has a ton of nerves. That's where a lot of the sensation in your body comes from. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Keep going. And exhale, exhale. Come more on each side. Last one on each side. Good, go ahead and bring the feet together. And lower yourself down. Okay, now flipping onto your stomach, we're going to do some body bounces. So, this one looks even weirder than everything else, but just trust me, you're gonna have your hands down. And let's tuck your toes at the same time. And we're just going to bounce your body up and down. You're just shifting forward and back on the mat. You can have your chest down, and you're gonna feel the tissues in the front of your body just kind of gliding against you, against the mat. So pressing both from the toes and the hands, you're keeping that gaze down in front of you. Perfect. All right, now from here, go ahead and pause. Lift your chest up into a hover, and we're going to go from side to side, side to side. So we're extending a little bit of a wider stance with the hands, maybe outside of your mat. So you're going side to side. Nice. Keep going. You're feeling those upper back muscles engaging. You're swinging the body from side to side. Your chest is getting a little bit of a fascial massage against the mat. A couple more on each side. Good, last one on each side. Now we're gonna add to that, okay? We're going to add a little bit of an arm swing. So come into your hover, we're going to swing side to side, and then we're going to add an arm overhead, and then coming back to center. And again, overhead and center. So I'm using my left arm to swing to the right, kind of gliding my body over and release. Over and release. Two more. Swinging like a rainbow. And then last one. Woo. Okay, other side, ready? We're going to swing the right hand over, and come back to center. Over and center. There we go. It's a forward and a back motion. Forward and back. Across and in. Across and in. One more each, or one more this direction after that last one. Okay, go ahead and press into child's pose. And instead of just sitting in child's pose, we're gonna do some undulations. So tilting the pelvis, rocking forward, and extending. Curve, 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 and extend. Yes. Kind of like, feels like a yoga thing. I feel like I've done this in yoga before. But yeah, we're moving through the stretch. Curve, 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 and extend. Last one here. Nice. And extend. All right. Now, go ahead and take it onto your back. Again, we're going to do some more 100 series. Okay, so. We're going to reach your arms up to the ceiling, legs in tabletop position, nod the chin forward, flex it here. We're just doing regular 100, five sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and three. Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and four. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, four, five, and five. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Now, we're gonna add to that. We're going to extend the right leg out. Your left hand is also going to be out. Right hand is behind the head. Yep, we're going to flex it. This is our new 100. We're going to go arm and leg. Yes. So we go inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and in. Two, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and two more sets. Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, now go ahead and turn onto the side with the right foot down. You are on your right side now, okay? Now the left foot can go in front of the knee, if that feels okay. 
your left hand is in front of you, and we're gonna do 100 this way. So inner thigh and the arm, yes. This is a coordination challenge, so if it doesn't click right away, don't worry about that. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more sets, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and two, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, come back to center. Now, left hand behind the head. Left arm or left leg is extended, right arm is up. We're still flex forward, ready? Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and two, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, keeping the hips still. Three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more sets, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, turning on to the left side now. Right foot is gonna go in front of the left leg, reaching out with your top arm. Ready, and pulse. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, and two, two, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Feeling the inner thigh firing. And exhale, two, three, four, five, and four. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and five. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, come back to center. Nice, and let's go ahead and roll on up to your seated position. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to do some half rollbacks. So we're going to start flex over, just our regular half rollback that we've done before. Inhale here, exhale, tilt and curve the pelvis backward, keeping that curve as much as possible and then curving over the spine, holding that C shape. Inhale as you return. Good, three more, three, and overhead, and a two, and release. Last one, now from here, we're going to put your right forearm down, twist your body overhead, and we're doing the same kind of round of the arm, and three, and then going back to your center curve, and roll, rounding the spine back. Let's go two more, and then we'll switch to the other side. Tilt and roll. And coming to center, and a tilt. And then swing your body over to the side, propping yourself up, we're doing two circles. Two, and around, back up to your curve position. Kind of swing your body through these motions. We're doing two of these rollbacks again. Nice, and then other side, propping the forearm down and circle around, and a two. Good, and back to center, curving over the leg. Roll back two times in your center, two, and over the leg. Last one, rolling onto the other side. Circle the arms around. I know it's a very complicated motion, but it feels so good. And back to your curved position, bouncing forward. And round it back. One more roll back from here, and a press. Now hold it here. We're pulsing. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Twist the spine to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and center. Two, three, four, five, and other side. Three, four, five, alternating. Three, four, five, and twist. Two, three, four, five, and center. Two, three, four, five, and twist. Good, and center. We'll do one more on each side. Three, four, five, and center. Two, three, four, five, and twist. Two, three, four, five. Curving over the legs and relax from there. Okay, now we're gonna do our roll-ups. We've done this before, just a classic roll-up. So go ahead and reach your arms overhead. We're gonna nod the chin forward and curve through each segment of the spine. Inhale here, and then exhale, keeping that curve through the spine, roll it all the way back down. Nice, nod and flex again, curve, curve, curve. Beautiful, and folding over and extending at the bottom, nod the chin and curve it forward. Yes, and again, roll it all the way back. Let's go, two more. Press it through, and we're gonna add to it, okay? And down and around. Last one, nod the chin, curve it forward. Now, as you roll down, we're going to open up the arms. Let me just scoot this back a little bit, okay. So we're going to roll, let's bend the knees a little bit. You're gonna roll back. 
Open up the arms, arms are overhead. Press into a hip roll or a hip lift. Lower the hips, extend the legs a little bit and curve all the way back to the front. Nice, again, curve it backwards. Circle the arms overhead. Bring the feet in and lift up into your hip roll or hip lift, I keep saying that, but nodding and curving all the back, all the way back to the front. Let's get back a little bit. Again, tilt the pelvis, circle the arms overhead, bring the feet in a little bit, hip lift, and come back down, extend the legs and nod and roll back to the front. Good, again, tilt and curve through, circle the arms overhead, bring the feet in, hip lift, yes, and again, nod and roll back. All right, now we're gonna do some hip roll stuff or hip lift stuff. So go ahead and inhale here. Exhale, tilt the pelvis backward and roll through. Pause there. Okay, now we're gonna make the feet a little bit wider than before. We're gonna start with them externally rotated and we're going to press the hips up, close the legs into internal rotation and then lower from here. We open the knees, lift up, Close the knees together and lower. Good, keep going. Open, lift, close and lower. Open, lift, close and lower. So we're getting all ranges of motion here in the hips, making this a nice fluid motion. Good, let's go one more from here. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna start with our knees together, knees together, then we open wide and then lower from there. We close, lift them up, open and lower. Close the knees, lift the hips, open the knees and lower. Close, lift, open and lower. Let's go one more from here. Close, lift, open and lower. Good, now bring the feet in a little bit together, more in line with the sit bones, more than, more, what am I saying? A little bit closer. Here we go, we're gonna lift the hips back up to the ceiling. We're gonna go into some stutter feet. So we're gonna go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. It's a really quick motion. Out, out, in, in, yes. Out, out, in, in, out. So this is good for us being a little bit more agile. We can't just, you know, stay in that nice slow pace. We have to vary the tempos. Fascia also likes to do that. In, in, out, out, in, and hopefully you're doing your butt even more. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, and two more. Last one. Good, and lower the hips all the way down. Whew, okay, go ahead, and now come up to your seated position. Let me just check the time really quick. Okay, let's do two more moves from here. Um, let's just come to standing, actually. <laughs> go ahead and come to standing, and we're gonna inhale here. We're gonna exhale as you bring your hands out to this hand and knee position. There we go, nice. Now we're gonna do some little bounces forward and back, okay? We're gonna bounce forward into the hands and back into your feet. Forward and back. Whew. This one gets the body moving very, very quickly, circulation-wise. And forward and back. Forward and back, one more. Now we're gonna do single leg pushes. So single leg, let's bring the right foot forward as you swing the body forward. So forward and back, other way. Forward and back, alternating sides each time. Good, really pressing through the floor to bounce through this motion. And in, and a forward, and back, and a forward. Maintaining your neutral spine as much as possible. Last one. All right, go ahead and relax for a second. Kind of rolling through the spine and then extending it out. One more roll through and extend. Okay, we've got one more thing here. So tuck the tailbone or tuck the toes. Let's lift the knees into the hover. You're going to jump through your feet with a little bounce, not necessarily a jump, but you're going to twist the knees and then come to center. Twist the other way and come to center. Yes, and center. Twist and center. These are your obliques, and then a twist, and center. Two more each side. Hopefully your shoulders are burning too. Last one on each side. Oh my gosh, can you relax for a second? 
Okay. Now we're gonna do that oblique twist, but without doing the middle jump. We're just gonna go from side to side. Okay, ready? Woo. Hands and knees, lift up the knees. We're gonna twist, and you're actually gonna jump a little bit. So from side to side, a little jump and twist. Maintain that neutral spine. Twist, twist. Beautiful. Two more each side. Woo. Last one. Okay, we're going to fold in a child's pose position. Undulating through the spine. We're going to extend and curve it underneath you. Good. Extend and curve it underneath. One more from here. And curve it underneath. Good. Now go ahead and tuck the toes. Roll onto your feet and slowly roll back up through the spine. Rounding the shoulders back. And let's just close your eyes again. So finding that same position that we did earlier to get that sensation in our body. Close your eyes a little bit and just sensing what's going on. Maybe it feels a little bit more balanced on each side. Maybe you feel a lot more blood flow going through your body, bringing that hydration through your fascia because we did a lot of work. Make sure that you drink a lot of water after this exercise or this workout as well. Whew. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes. Round the shoulders back, and we're done for the day. Good job. Thank you so much for working out with me.